Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Cosmito, and we're back with Sonic Omens, but this time we're going to be talking about a few things that are involved in the Sonic world. If you guys don't know what Sonic Omens is, it was a fan base game that was actually extremely good for what it gave. And a lot of controversy happened because they're getting paid from Patreon, and because they're getting paid, Sega should do something about it. But I believe that Sega should say, hey, let's split that profit and you can hire us and we'll hire you. I think that would be a good idea, but I don't know how it works, so. I never really got to sit down and talk to with you guys about like the Sonic life, and I really think we should just get back on that. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, there's an option for it says just KYS. That's horrible. This game, the game Sonic, I mean, I don't know. A lot of people love to hate this game on so many different levels, and I love it a lot because not just, not Sonic Omens, but just other Sonic games in general. I mean, I think Sonic to me was very personal. Like, Sonic to me was extremely personal, and I think Sonic got me through the worst parts in my life. You know, sometimes when life got me down in like really bad ways, I would just run. I would just hop on a Sonic game, and I would just run. What I think a lot of people fail to realize about these Sonic games is you do realize there's it takes a long time to make a video game. Just I just want to point that out there. It takes a while to make a game, especially the dedication behind it. When you have that passion and drive. So like think of it like so think of it like this way. You have this goal, right? You have this goal that you want. And you you are totally for it. So you put years and years of work into it. Like Let's just say years, just to be dramatic. It gets posted, you're so excited to see the work, or you just made that item, or like a car, or a computer, or a video game, or whatever it can be. And then, people look at it and be like, Eh, how, that doesn't feel right, man. Like, these guys put a lot of work into this game. And I really think recognition should be known. Honestly, a lot of people like to go on the hate train. For some reason. Like... With the whole controversy with Will Smith, everybody just wants to hate Will Smith now. I don't think everybody does, but it's just a figure of speech. I think that with what's going on, it's just something to talk about. Like, you don't- why- why- why ain't people talking about doing something good for the war right now? I mean, like, I'm sorry, like, I don't mean to be personal, but there's a lot of things that people are doing, and we speak more of the bad than the good, and that's what stresses me about Sonic, is that Everybody, you can already see people making fake thumbnails where people are saying, oh, the game is bad, but it, nobody even played it. But I mean, think about it. Look at these Sonic games. Look at this. It's almost open world if I really wanted to just go and explore, which I can't because there's a block and I don't like that, but I accept it and respect it, which is why I just deal with it. But I really think everybody should just stop and understand that it takes a lot to make a Sonic game, or any game for that matter. Roger Craig Smith, I don't think Roger is a good Sonic voice actor, and honestly, it does kill the style for me in, like, the gameplay, but a true fan wouldn't make, wouldn't have a problem with it. A true fan would not cry about it. Because, first off, Sonic's personality is still there. Now, if you turn Sonic into this lazy, fat piece of crap, then I would sit there and I'll be like, that's not who Sonic is. Sonic is carefree, has a crazy attitude, which is also shown in Night of the Wind, or The Black Knight, or I think it's called. I don't know. I think it's just weird how we're just so quick to judge as soon as we hear something about it, because it's just as close as to, I listen to everything else but country. Why? Why don't you listen to country? You know, I actually have a few country songs. Some people think they're they're too hard to listen to that stuff, which I don't understand why they think they're too hard. That just makes them think they're better than everyone else. But at the end of the day, we're all human. We have different mindsets, but we should just respect one another's opinions. Like, give it a try. Try it. You could be like, ah, that's not for me. But you tried it, and that's what matters. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's better. It's a, it's a low blow, but it's like, people are so j quick to judge, man. Yeah, but in case you're wondering, everybody's saying that Sonic Frontiers is already going to be a bust and how it's never going to be good and... Whatever. The Sonic 2 movie, I heard, got better reviews than Morbius, by the way. So, just saying. And I've been staying off the internet for a while, man, because, honestly, there are so many spoilers for the Sonic 2 movie. I saw one that involved... You really think I'm going to tell you what happened? I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not going to tell you all what happened. And look at this. How could you just get mad and not play the game? It's like, oh, you're supporting someone that is... 
stop stealing. Sega didn't really do anything about it, I don't think. And if they did, just let me know. I know it's been a while. And no, I'm not finally just now talking about Sonic Omens. I'm talking about all the Sonic games in general. I'm talking about how people are quick to judge the game before it even comes out. Because that could be your own first Sonic game in its own unique way. And I played Sonic Boom, by the way. And I thought it was pretty dang fun. Okay? I thought it was fun. Everybody's like watching it, squinting their eyes, looking for the, the slightest glitch. And I find that golden. As a content creator, I find that stuff golden. So yeah, I can sit here and just express my opinion, but I'm probably gonna get a lot of people mad out there. And there's probably already comments there saying, what you don't understand is that Sega doesn't care. And I'm like, yeah, well, you play a lot of games where companies don't care, okay? So I don't want to hear- Tell me you've never played a game where you wanted them to fix one thing other than Sonic and they never did. What it really comes down to is there's a lot of people that, I don't know, it's just... It's best not to just judge a game right before it comes out. I know the reviews will definitely help, but... Honestly, some of the worst games are some of the best games. Like, Sonic 06 to me was probably one of the best games I've ever played because that was my most hyped Sonic game, and I was I was so ready for it. Just like how I was with Sonic Frontiers, and this is going to be a comeback. So, I'm ready for it. But I think I'm actually going to stop talking because, honestly, I just really wanted to just get that venting out there and just let everybody know that we really shouldn't be judging one another because you don't know what it could do for you, and I think that person had a reason to make or did what they do, so... Just live life. I know this is kind of all over the place, but in short, stop judging Sonic games because they're still fun. Don't judge people's creations because there's a reason behind why they do it. So respect their opinion. Don't bash on it. And if you want to express your opinion, then just be respectfully honest. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you just hearing my vent in my own opinion. I just, uh, I just think we should just stop hitting everybody everywhere and just settle now because, I mean, uh, there's a lot happening. We, we best just keep smiling and just keep doing the best we can together. But I'm going to stop this video. Thank you for watching. Again, appreciate it. Like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. And, uh, all right. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Cosmeto. That just happened. Bye, guys.